Itian guys, welcoming you back to yet another video, another sharing, uh, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityananda Paramashivam. Today's video, I want to share uh, something I started, I mentioned in the previous video, which was uh, another recent satsang that Swamiji gave, and um, it was about Nataraja dancing and being a perfectionist. So, um, I personally definitely have experienced this space in my life where, you know, you kind of want something to be perfect. And for that reason, you kind of stagnate for a long period of time or you stagnate. And Swamiji was saying that he was giving the story of Nataraja. Nataraja is the form of Lord Shiva, which is uh, doing the cosmic dance. And he says that at some point, Nataraja is doing the uh, uh, Ananda Tandava, which is the blissful dance, and um, his anklet falls. And he does not stop dancing because his anklet fell. And right away, Adishesha, which is his Vahana, his vehicle, it's a snake, comes around his ankle and knots himself around his ankle and, and acts and becomes um, a new anklet. So, Swamiji, when he said that, for me, it really clicked because sometimes when you create something, like I mentioned, I've been doing a lot of, um, especially around music in the last few weeks, and uh, when you create something, sometimes it's not fitting what you feel or sometimes you go through different spaces and you you your listening is altered and you listen to it in a certain way and you um i think one of the main issues that happens um is that we we kind of come to conclusions too fast about what we what we want and what is the result and what is happening and that does not allow the creativity to kind of shine forward so when Swamiji said that, this idea of being a perfectionist, uh, which normally comes and creates a form of stagnation um, in the process, if it is not fitting whatever ideas you have, then, um, then you stagnate and then the energy stops and then that's where uh, life drops. So the purpose is not to stop. The purpose is to allow the life to flow. I was actually, I, I was actually watching the end of the series Mahabharata recently uh, because I had watched uh, most of the series a few years back, but I did not finish for some reason. So I kind of finished it. And at the end, I, I rewatched the part where Krishna is uh, revealing the sacred scriptures to Arjuna. And he talks about the yogi. And he says that an accomplished yogi does not expect the results of the action because he knows that the action itself is the result. So when he said that, I kind of clicked. And it also matched, or I also clicked it with what Swamiji uh, mentioned in the, uh, when he was talking about Nataraja uh, performing the cosmic dance. And the very fact that you can act, that you're able to go into motion, that you're able to create, that you're able to do something, that itself is a blessing. And upon that blessing, we should decide to act. We should not act because we have agreed for a certain kind of result. What happens is whenever we have greed for a result, if the result comes, then great, we are excited and happy. If the, res if the result does not come, then uh, then we go back to a lower space and we stagnate and we cherish low frequency emotions and low spaces and um, and that should be avoided at all cost because end of the day one of the main thing that Swamji revealed recently which is sticking with me is that you should be active because of your very existence the only thing that should be the source of your bliss is the very fact that you are aware of your existence so it is not about, you know, achieving something, doing, that doesn't mean that we don't achieve and we don't do things, but these are, it's like the side effect of existing. But existing is what needs to be worshipped. Existing needs to be the source of the bliss, the source of life, the source of everything we do. 
When we exist, we can go into action. So going into action is actually a blessing. And we take it for granted. We just think, yeah, I, I do things. And we're, we're so unconscious. Like there's no, there's no conscious process. There's no uh, conscious experience. And um, that was one of the main clicks I had and I wanted to share this video. So it's like, you have to keep going. Swanji also said, I had a shift also this morning, another click. Um, Swanji was saying, if you're struggling with one responsibility, take 10. If you're struggling with one project, take 10. So in the same way, when we struggle, we tend to come to the conclusion that we should withdraw from life until something happens and we are able to continue with what we're doing. But Swamiji is telling us, no, that is not the right way to exist. When you, do not allow yourself to stagnate in any form. If something, if you're stuck in a project, if you're not able to move forward with a certain responsibility, just decide to engage in more projects and more possibilities so that you do not decide to remain stagnant because you're not able to make things move further in a certain project or with a certain type of responsibilities or with a certain responsibility. Um, so, so that was, that's important. The main thing I can relate to and I can also see as an experience since I started to implement um, Swamiji's teachings and Swamiji's way of life in my life <laughs> is um, keep moving as much as you can. Always keep moving, be active as much as much as possible. So always being active and not allow yourself to stagnate into something. Don't allow any form of, it's a kind of an energy depression, stagnation. It's a depression from an energetic level where energy is not there and it's not moving. And life has to continuously flow like the dance of Nataraja, the Ananda Tandava. So, uh, so yes, that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Um, if you have any clicks or anything to say regarding this, if it's your experience or perhaps any questions, feel free to write it in the comments below. Very much appreciated. Any form of participation is appreciated. Uh, thanking you again for watching these videos and uh, I'll be uploading uh, maybe not as frequently as I used to, maybe once every two days or something like that. But uh, yes, stay tuned, videos are coming, so click the bell icon, subscribe, make sure you get notified when a next uh, sharing lands on this YouTube channel. And I'm uh, inviting you also to go check the Nityanda Media House in Kailash YouTube channel. Uh, I'm actually working on a, a very nice... Uh, song and music video so for this one i had an idea for a music video so i kind of worked on that it's going to take a few days to be finalized but most of the rough work is done so stay tuned and uh, watch the release on the nityanda media house in kailash in a few days uh, i think i think it's pretty nice <laughs> so with this i'll see you in the next video thank you very much again for watching nityanda